Hi and welcome to the second lesson in the family topic. This lesson is going to look at the functions of the family from a functionalist point of view. So hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be able to identify, describe and explain some key functions of the family and explain the key work of Parsons looking at particularly primary socialisation and stabilisation of adult personalities. So key concepts we're going to look at are things like dysfunctional families, expressive role and instrumental role. So as a starter, have a little think. What roles or functions do the family provide? So look at the pictures, it might give you some hints. What kind of things do the family do? Number two, do you think these could provide be provided by other institutions? So for instance, maybe specialised. Should children be raised in families? Is that the best place for them? And finally, what is the role of the family in society? Is it about educating? Is it about nurturing children? Is about providing so have a little think what do you think the role of the family actually is so just as a recap um, obviously we've done functionalism in our introduction unit but just as a reminder so functionalism is a consensus theory they are very much seeing the positive side in uh, all kind of uh, topics so um, they always look at kind of what is the function of an institution so what good does it do for society? So they see the family then as kind of being a key um, section of society. It plays quite a dominant role in comparison to some other institutions and it makes you feel part of wider society through things like primary socialization. They see the nuclear family as being beneficial, necessary for society to run well. And the two sociologists that we're gonna look at for this topic would be Murdoch and Parsons. So, pass, uh, sorry, Murdoch, come on brain, he looked at the four functions of the family. So, he looked at 250 different societies all over the world and he said that actually the nuclear family was pretty much universal. It could be found in all different countries and societies around the world. He then argued that families do four vital things. First one would be about uh, kind of sexual, which is kind of teaching children and com really kind of uh, how to phrase it giving them good role models in terms of kind of relationships so um, obviously having a relationship creates quite a strong emotional bond between a couple that encourages quite a stable relationship in the future reproductive obviously is about you know having the next generation um, and families do that um, educational so this is about sharing the norms and values teaching the children what they would need to kind of succeed in society uh, whether this is walking talking um, following rules those kind of things and economics so the family very much provides financially for the children so whether it's shelter food money all of those things you know because we're in families we're helping maintain the economy by providing for each other Parsons argued that the family has two main functions and this can't be done by any other institution in society so he said the family passes on norms and values as forms of primary socialization and this is essential for society to kind of run smoothly so what he argues is the mum provides one role which is an expressive role she's doing all the caring the emotional stuff the nurturing and the father plays what he called the instrumental role. This is providing uh, money, financial support, and he called this the breadwinner. He also said that families provide uh, a function of stabilization of adult personalities. So you could remember it, because we've done about warm baths, so you could remember it as soap, so stabilization of adult personality. So modern, days, modern day life is quite stressful and the family is kind of used as a way to kind of de-stress people. It's a place you can go and vent. If you've had a really bad day, you can go and moan to your family about you know everything that's going on. And really, the family is one of the only functions uh, institutions that can provide this function, he would argue. So think about all the things that your family does to help you reduce your stress. I'm sure some of you would say your family make you more stressed, but generally, it can help with you de-stressing. So... If we think about everything that uh, the functionalists have said about families, so things like you know providing really positive functions, 
if you have a look at the pictures, can you come up with kind of any criticisms? So do you have to be kind of a man providing this role or a woman providing this role? Are families always positive? So have a little think of two criticisms. So some that you could have. The first one would be dark side of the family. So this is all about the bad things that happen in families, whether it's uh, domestic violence, abuse, you know, arguments, not a very nice home life to kind of grow up in. This then links into dysfunctional relationships. So again, you might grow up in a home where, you know, the relationships aren't working, you know, not everybody's fulfilling their roles. So maybe it doesn't work um, in such a positive manner. Also, a lot of the functionist ideas are based on kind of white, middle-class, nuclear families. And actually, as you can see, we've got quite a range of um, family types now. And, you know, do these uh, roles and functions still apply to those? Probably not. And the other thing is, a lot of the research from Parsons and Murdoch is quite outdated for today's society, really. And families don't function in this kind of woman stays at home, man goes out and earns. You know, it's not how society works these days. So, what I would... I seem to have got rid of the handprint there. What I would like is to have a go at kind of summarising the functions and ideas in five key points. It should have a handprint there, and I seem to have got rid of it, but, you know, it is what it is. So what you could do is draw around your hand and come up with the five key points of what you think functionists are trying to say. So, um, if you did want to have a go at this, this can test your kind of knowledge. The keywords are down the side. So, for instance, Parsons believed that families were vital in passing on the blank of society. So, the first answer, hopefully, you'll look at the key terms and go, oh yeah, it's obviously norms and values. So, if you'd like to have a go at that, feel free to pause and have a go. So, that was lesson number two. Feel free to get in contact if you have any questions or queries. Thanks very much. Bye.